Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel, it's Walanda. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my pre-poo process. So for pre-poo, I use aloe vera and I get my aloe vera from Waitrose. Literally, I have it delivered either the night before or that same morning. I'm just going to clean the aloe vera and cut off the end part. I'm just gonna go ahead and give the aloe vera another wash and I'm gonna go into cutting them into big chunks. I don't know, some aloe vera, they have very spiky edges. This one wasn't as spiky. I don't know if Waitrose um, shave the spikes before delivering them, but I did not have to cut out the edges cause they did not hurt me while I was handling the aloe vera. So as you can see, I just split it in half and I just go in and scoop out the gel. This is the easiest way I find that works for me. The aloe vera gel is super soft and slippery, so I don't have any problem when it comes to um, scooping it out. I do use one aloe vera plant in my hair for my pre poo process. If you have more hair, you probably will need two or one and a half. One is just fine with me. So the process of releasing the gel is very tedious. It does not take a long time, but in order for you to get the most for your money out of the aloe vera plant, you do have to go through a couple of processes in order for all the gel to come out or ooze out. So I start off by using a potato smasher and just smashing the aloe vera in order for me to release the aloe vera gel. I did try blending it the first attempt and I did not like how watery it got so that's why the process I'm using yes it's a little bit much but I like my aloe vera to be very slippery and not liquidy. I like my gel to be very very thick. Basically this is going to be what I'm doing throughout the entire process going back and forth between a spoon and a potato smasher in order for me to release all the gel. At some point, I just used my fingers in order to smash the gel even more. I literally do whatever I can in order to release as much gel as possible because we need to get all of this gel out. If you guys want, you can do this the night before and just let all of that sit overnight in order for it to ooze out some more gel. But I think after a certain amount of time that I've smashed and squeezed and scooped, the gel, um, I think I got as much as I can out of the plant. So if you do this properly, you could get about a good 12 to 13 ounces of aloe vera, which is perfectly enough for my hair. What I don't do anymore now is I do not untwist, unbraid my hair without a pre-poo, well, without a slip. So my slip of choice as of right now, because I'm gonna try some other ones that I've seen, but as of right now, my slip of choice is aloe vera. So I went ahead and prepped my aloe vera and I'm just gonna apply it directly on my hair. So this is week four of having my hair in my twist. I leave it 
in my twist and natural state like this for up to four weeks because after four weeks my hair just it, it doesn't look tame it, it you know it looks is it on camera let me see it doesn't look that bad on camera to be honest but in person four weeks to me is enough so i have my aloe vera oh you know what i forgot to do that i need to go do actually i need to strain it yeah i did buy cheesecloth to strain it so let me go do that and then i guess the next clip is just it's going to be me showing you me applying it i used to apply it in sections but this well this is gonna be the first time i try this I, i'm gonna just drench my hair like i'm washing it and then take my time to go ahead and detangle so see you guys i guess during that process okay so i learned this the hard way the first time you guys remember when i said i blended the aloe vera the first attempt so i also did not have a cheese cloth when i did that attempt so i had a lot of white flakes in my hair from the aloe vera plant so you do want to get a cheese cloth in order for you to strain it um so those chunks do not end up in your hair and look like you just have white flakes in your hair I don't know if this cheesecloth really did its thing because I still ended up having a little bit of flakes in my hair. So maybe next time I'll double strain it in order for me to get all of the pieces out. Okay, do not do what I did because I forgot how thick or viscous the aloe vera gel is even though that's what I wanted and I literally just poured it on my hair and a whole goop just fell in the sink and started to run down the sink so I had to hurry up and use my sink stopper in order for me to not waste half of my aloe vera even though I already did so that's why I went ahead and picked up the bowl in the next sink to help catch any extra aloe vera and i did try to scoop up whatever was in the sink in order for me to saturate my hair but definitely make sure you have either your sink stopper in or you have a large bowl in the sink in order for you to catch all the extra aloe vera because it will slide down your hair in one big thick block even though i did waste a lot of aloe vera in the sink i did still have quite enough on my hair or left over in order for me to saturate my hair i'm just gonna do a few on camera and then i'm gonna sit down and relax while i do the rest at this point you just want to be very gentle. Look, it just glides open without even tangling, without having any snagging. This is why I'm into pre pools now. I literally have to do it before I start shampooing my hair or detangling my hair because it makes the wash day so easy. Now, my wash days are days, not days, it's, it's a whole day. It takes me a whole day for me to completely um, do everything, but because I'm filming, it's gonna take longer today. So easy, very minimal shedding, very minimal. I'm gonna get some shedding, of course, because my hair has been non-touched, put away, not tangled for a month now. I don't know if I recorded back in November when I did my uh, trim, I had a big ball of hair, but I detangled on dry hair. And I'm not doing that again. I learned my lesson. Slip is amazing with this plant. I used to use the African Pride aloe vera and coconut detangler, which I absolutely love. Actually, that product made me want to go ahead and just use an aloe vera plant in order for me to detangle my hair instead of keep on repurchasing the african pride product not that i don't like the african pride product but you guys know i live in the uae now so purchasing that on amazon constantly is 
ultimately going to get annoying and it's just not going to make any sense to me if I could already have a plant brought to my house within minutes and I don't have to worry about shipping and and um what you call it and customs and taxes and all of that stuff so that's why I really just shifted over to using the plant and making my own pre-poo as you guys can see I ordered five or six plants aloe vera is a fresh plant so you cannot just have aloe vera plant just sitting in the house so i did go ahead and cut the other ones up each plant has its own um snack bag or ziploc bag not snack bag but a gallon ziploc bag and i just put them in the freezer so each month i can just go ahead and bring them out the night before let it thaw out and scoop them out in the morning when i'm going to wash my hair so it's currently about 2.30ish and I just got done un detangling and unraveling my hair. I think I started putting the alloy, aloe, aloe, <laughs> aloe vera right before 1 o'clock. So I like 12.45, that's when I started doing it. So I'm finished at 2.30 and that's pretty good being that this is the wash right after i did my protein treatment i did my protein treatment last month so my hair is going to be still a little rough so yes the detangle process was super super soft and easy y'all this is my go-to now um i'm not buying any pre poo products because honestly it's just not necessary now that is all detangled out i'm gonna show you guys how much hair has come out nice and fluffy this is how much hair that came out that is nothing compared to the ball of fuzz i used to get before i started pre-pooing with aloe vera so definitely is going to be a keeper in my process for this to be all that came out of my entire head y'all this is nothing i would get this in a part of a part of a part of a section to be honest so i'm super excited about that this is gonna be the end of the video i honestly just wanted to show you guys exactly how i pre poo my hair it was super easy. Now it's just time for me to go wash my hair and get on with the rest of my day. So if you guys like this type of video, don't forget to follow, like, comment, subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram at imported underscore chocolate. Pinterest, I told y'all earlier, at Walanda. And I'll see you guys in the next video.